Now that you've created an account, let's get you logged in to start with your first project. To create your project, you'll need to go to your portal page. To access your portal, log in. Once you've logged in, you're on your portal page. This is where you can start your project. Click on Create Project. On this page, you can specify the title, the description, the fire versioning, the scope, and the nationality of your project. For fire versioning, this tells Simplifier what type of resources you will be uploading into your project. The resources that you are uploading in your project should reflect this versioning. You have just created your project. On this page, you can further specify an introduction. This lets users know what you'll be using this project for. Use this to communicate to the outside world about how you would like your project to be used and what your intended use is. To edit the introduction, click here. Enter your introduction in Markdown. If you need help with Markdown, click the link below. Otherwise, type your introduction in now. Click on Save Changes to see your introduction. This is the introduction that other users will see. To further customize your project, click on Options. Here you have a few different items. You can edit project properties, like we did in the very beginning with the title and the description. You can edit the project key by customizing your URL. Change the logo by adding your company logo. Or make the project private and only share it with a select number of members. On your project page, you can also add resources, add members, check the project log, and check for implementation guides. We'll talk about resources in a minute, but let's start with adding project members. Here you can invite other users to collaborate with. Once you've entered in the email of the user you would like to invite, you can select project rights. The member can be a reader, a writer, or an admin on the project. We're going to make Arden an admin, so I'm going to click admin, which means he has all the rights as I do. A reader will have limited functionality and be only able to read what's contained in the project, and a writer will have the ability to add and delete resources. Now that my invitation was sent, we see here in the top of the screen that I have one pending invitation. You can also see the max number of users allowed for this project and how many users are currently active. On the log tab, you see a log of all the activities that have taken place for my project. I started this project this morning, I've updated the description a few times, and if I also added resources, you would also be able to see that here. You can also see all of the activity for other members. This is a great way to keep on top of what's happening in your project. On the guides tab, you'll see any implementation guides that are associated with this project. If you have not yet started an implementation guide, here's a good place to start. We'll cover that in another demo, but to get started, you'll need to click Create. The Resources tab is really the meat of your project. Here is where you will add, modify, and keep track of your resources. There are a few different ways to add resources to your project. You can utilize the Fire Endpoint. You can sync a GitHub repository by using the GitHub webhook directly with Simplifier. You can upload files from your PC from a different source, or copy and paste resources directly into Simplifier. Here we are going to fetch a resource from a Funk server. Click on Get. And I now have that resource as part of my project. Click on your project title to go back to your project page. If I click on my Resources tab, I now see my patient resource as a part of my project. Another way to get a resource into your project is to copy and paste the XML or JSON. From the drop down menu, click on copy paste. Here you can paste your XML or JSON. I have XML from my other example project and I'm just going to edit this so we can have two resources. Click on upload. I'm now on the page of my second resource. Click on the project title to get back to your project page. If I go back to my resources tab, we can now see that I have two resources added to my project. As you've seen, there are a variety of ways to upload resources to your project. In later videos, we'll go into more depth about resources. Now that you know how to get your project off the ground, you're ready to get started.